up in the three A's five thousand meters, Ryan McLeod. Uh, did you want to just talk through? Obviously, sorry. Congratulations, Ryan. Do you want to just talk through the race? How you how you felt it went today? Um, well, the plan for me was not to take any of the front running, just sit and get a ride round, and whatever pace was set was uh, just to go with it. I wasn't too fussed about time whatsoever. I was just here to, to try and pick up a medal because uh, with Chris Thompson not running, Nick McCormick not running race was open really. Yeah, so it was a good opportunity to get in there and definitely get yourself a medal. So Thanks. first time under 14 I understand as well, so yeah, that's to get a good break to get through that barrier eventually. Yeah it is, uh, I mean time was a bonus, I didn't notice the time until I crossed, the, like, crossed over the line and I got on to my left. Uh, I, as I say, I was just here to try and get a medal and thankfully I did, I was strong enough in the last K. Uh, and just held on that last lap and got past Lee in the home straight. So okay, good. Do you, do you think there's much more to come? Because it looks like, say, obviously it was a slow up and down pace and then wound up really quickly, obviously yourself and Scott overall. Do you think there's a lot more room to come now? I'd, I'd like to think so, yeah. I mean, if I can run just under 14 in a, what you call it, a tactical race, really, because with the pace varying so much, it's quite up and down the middle. Um, so maybe if I can get in a quicker race later in the season, never know, try and get under 30, 50. Getting 30 40s, that would be lovely. Okay, yeah. I think basically you're hitting a real good purple patch now because I remember from reading on from your Rummers Life blog, so you were saying perhaps as soon as you come back from altitude you struggled a bit, but now obviously there's a 343 first, and obviously after today's performance now, do you think obviously the benefits of being at altitude are all starting to come through now and yeah. you definitely can take advantage? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I come back, I ran a 1500 at Stretford, didn't run so well, I was a bit flat, uh, then obviously Sports City. I had an absolute disaster, uh, overestimated what I could do, just based on my training when I was away, I thought it was going well and I thought I'd give it a shot, um, and died a, a slow death in that race, and just backed it off just to stop myself getting any injuries or anything like that. Then uh, after a road race at home where I ran bad again, I just took a week off and just ran like steady running 7 minute miles per week, and that did the trick for me, I was knocking in good sessions after that. So. And then obviously, like I say, culminated with the 3.43, yeah. obviously that was a big improvement. And like today, obviously now, definitely in there as one of the country's top 5k runners and definitely a bit more room for improvement, you think? Yeah. So yeah. what would be next? So do you know, have you got any idea what's going to be on the cards uh, for you next? I don't. Uh, I've entered Solio 3k next week. Um, I'm going to have a chat with my coach about it, uh, <coughs> decide whether it's worth doing or not, or maybe he's waiting until later in the season for a 3k. I mean, it, as I said, just have a chat with John and my dad. Uh, and just take it from there, really. Okay, good. Well, like the same again, congratulations today, and hopefully, like I say, the good running continues, mate.